Hello and welcome to Statistics Unit 1, Lesson 5. How many hours did you work? Part 2. Today we're going to discuss the mean and the median and symmetric and skewed data and how the mean and median are related to symmetric and skewed data. Okay, how many hours did you work a week? Part 2. So the first thing we did is we copied our class data from the lesson 1.3, so you can go back and look at that. And this, and uh, then we went to statsmedic.com, applets, and one quantitative variable single group and graphed it, or we graphed it on our own calculator. And here we have the graph, we put it on the dot plot, remembering to have a label, the title, the dot, the hash marks, 0, 5, 10, and so forth and so on. So, on the summary statistics, it asks you to find, record the mean and the median. So in order to record the mean and the median, we're gonna go ahead and do that, but I'm gonna show you how to do it also using something called menu 411. So if you could go to your calculator and go to menu, list and spreadsheet, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to um, record our data. So the data that we have was zero, or sorry, I'm gonna go up here and we're gonna call it text messages, text messages, and I'm gonna go ahead and record it. So it looks like I had, or it's not text messages, I apologize, it's hours worked, hours worked. All right, and we had one, two, three, four, five zeros, one, two, three, four, five zeros. Well, actually, I think 10 zeros. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Thought those were ones. Uh, three fives, four tens, three fifteens, and a 25. Okay, let's go ahead and make a dot plot. So to make a dot plot, remember menu, or excuse me, control doc, control doc, data statistics. We're going to go to, oh, where to go? Text, oh, I think it saved as text messages. Hold on a second. Let's go back to this. Yeah, I think that's what I did. No. Oh, here we go. Hours worked. Let me get off of this one. Let's try that now. Con so control doc, data statistics. Click. Hours worked. There it is. It just hadn't recorded it yet. Okay. So I'm going to go back to my data. Okay, there's my heights. Too many on here. Let's find it here. Go back to my data there. That's text messages. Okay, there it is. So I'm going to go back to my data. Your calculator shouldn't be that hard. I have a little bit too many of these and wasn't sure where it was on here. To go back on yours, you're gonna hit control left or control right to go back to your data. Okay, so now once you're at your data, make sure you click off of your data. Your blue cursor should not be on the list at all. So you're gonna hit menu, 411 is what we're gonna do, but menu, statistics is four, stat calcs is one, and then one is one variable statistics, one list, okay. And you're gonna do the drop down menu here. We're gonna to go to hours worked. There it is. Okay, click okay. And you're gonna see it's gonna give you the mean and the, and the median, which is what it's asking for. So the mean is says 5.952 and the median is five hours. 
Now on mine, I got it a little bit different. Mine was 6.4847. The only reason I'm thinking that it might be different is somehow I might have recorded something incorrect. So that might give us something a little bit different. Two, four, six, eight, ten. I have three, four, three, one. So I'm just gonna double check here. I have three, four, ah, that's what it is. Instead of 25, that should be 15. So let me just change that. That's the problem. Okay, and now, there we go, 5.9, and that's exactly what we have here, perfect. So what I did again was I did menu 411 from here, made sure that my cursor was somewhere else, did a drop down menu, and made sure that this was labeled, and I'm able to get the mean. The mean is my X bar, that's what we call it, and then the median, we just write median. Okay, if you did it by hand, of course, you could have added all these and then divided and you would have been able to get the mean. The median, of course, is the middle number, so you could have said, okay, that's gonna be my 11th piece of data since I have 20, 22 of these, 23 of these, how many, 20, sorry, 21 of them, so that's gonna be this one right here, and that's five, the middle data. To get the mean, of course, you're gonna add all of them together and I get 125, when I add zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero and so forth, plus five plus five plus five plus four tens plus three fifteens plus a 25 divided by 21 and I get 5.952 and that's my mean. The median is my middle number. So you put the numbers in order from lowest to highest. So if we did it by hand, I would put them from lowest to highest and I would find my, literally my middle number. So my middle number, if I have 21 pieces of data, I'm gonna take my median out. So the way I do that is I say, okay, 21 plus one is 22. Then I divide it in half and I get 11. So I go down to my 11th point of data, piece of data here, and then that's where I get my five from. So if I were to bring this, and that's my median. And if you notice, I have 10 pieces of data below it and 10 pieces of data above it. Since again, my median's taken out, I take the number of data points, 21 plus one, which is 22, divided by two, and gets me where my median is. If it's in half, so let's just do something, just let's add one more piece of data. Let's do 25 here. Let's do one more piece of data. Let's say 26 is also here, okay? So now I have 22 pieces of data. So 22 plus one is 23 divided by two is now 11.5. When, so now what I would do is I would take my 11th and 12th piece of data, which both happen to be five, but I would just find the average of those two. Now, since they're both five, it doesn't change it, but let's say that this piece actually, let's just change the data just a little bit so we can see. Let's say that this was 10 and this was 10. So we see that the 11th and 12th piece of data is five and 10. So the average of five and 10 is five plus 10 divided by two. And then that would mean that my median actually would be um, 15 divided by two, which would be seven and a half. So that's how I would do it if I had, an, if I had a middle that had two middles. But since I don't have two middles, I'm just gonna go back to where we were and erase this 26. The 26 was not part of my data. and then change these back, these were fives. And change that back to black because it is not my median. So which is larger? My mean is larger than my median and we can see that, we can graph this menu. So we're gonna go control doc, data statistics, Click, click here, I'm doing hours worked. You can see it's skewed to the right. If I decided to do menu plot type histogram, you can see it's skewed to the right. Of course, I could change, uh, I could make my bins a little larger if you wanted to see that's definitely skewed to the right. You can grab it like I did, or you can change it with plot type properties. The way I did before were menu, 
plot properties, histogram properties, bin settings, equal bin width, and you can change it here. So I changed mine to four, I mean, I just pulled them, so that's why I did 4.5, but if I changed it to five, that's what it would look like. But I can see it's definitely skewed to the right. So since it's skewed to the right, my mean is going to be bigger than my median because means are sensitive to large numbers, to the outliers. And you can see that in the data. Let's kind of investigate that because it's kind of neat to see. So with our data that we have here, you can see that the mean, I'm just gonna make it a different color here so we can see, or let's just do a fill color so we can kind of see, there we go. And then we're gonna look at our median at five. So I want you to see something, this is kind of neat. So my mean and median, this particular one, remember, is this data here where it's skewed to the right. And let's get this nice and centered. There we go, so you can see everything. All right, so let's say that I go, oh, I made a mistake. This is actually not a zero. Let's say this is 40. Let's say I, I didn't say I worked zero hours. I say I worked 40 hours and somehow that's a mistake. So check out uh, before I hit enter, what's going to happen to the mean, which is the X bar at the top and the median. If you notice X bar changed a lot, it went up to 7.9, 7.857. The median though did not change at all because what's happening is the median is just still the middle number. And you see that even though this now is shifted, this here, if we really move, removed this one here and put it at the bottom, and you do the middle number, well, the middle number did shift. It shifted down to this number here is now that's my 11th one. And uh, let's see, I'll show you how it's, I, we're gonna see this is now, to be able to find it, menu, actions, sort, ascending, there we go. And so now you'll see, uh, still I have at my 11th piece of data, remember 21 plus one divided by two, and this is my 11th piece of data is still five. So even though the 40 changed uh, and I changed it. So let's go back to zero. Let's change it back to zero. And you see how the outlier is, makes it really change. And then we go back to five, okay? So this is exactly what we said. It says, um, let's add one piece of data to the set. It's gonna do exactly what we just did. Now we're adding a 65 to the set. And so if I add a number to the set, 65, and now let's go ahead and look out what our mean and our median are. My median's the same and my mean changed a lot, which is exactly what we just discussed. So the outlier really, really changed that that mean. All right, so um, my median, remember, is resistant to outliers because it's just the center number, and so it doesn't really matter what the values are, it's just choosing the center one. I showed you if it was odd values, like 21 we had, it's definitely the middle value because you just add one divided by two and that's where we got the middle value. If there were even number values, like we saw when we had 22, we add one and divide by two, and we get, it's between those two values. So 50% of the values are less than the median, and about 50% of the values are greater than the median. We've got the, right in the middle. Mean, this just, okay, this is just okay, funky it. notation for adding all of them together and dividing by N and that's my average value. It's not very resistant to outliers. As you saw, when I put a big number in, boom, it changed really big. But the median was, and that's why with symmetric data, where the mean is equal to the median, we can use the mean for the center. We can say, yeah, this is about what all of them are. But if it's skewed to the right or skewed to the left, or I have an outlier, then I need to use the median because it's showing data that is more consistent to the rest of the data. Okay, let's look at our um, check for understanding and, and our lesson application. If I ask you to find 
um, and interpret the median. I would look at the median and I would say, I've got how many do I have here? I have 14. So 14 plus one is 15 divided by two is seven and a half. So that means it's between my seventh and eighth piece of data. So count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So it's between these two, which looks like that's 45 and 46. So 45 plus 46 divided by two is going to be 45 and a half. So that's how we got this here. So half of the brands contain less than 45.5% and half of the brands contain more than 45.5%. Calculate the mean. So if I add them all up and divide by 14, I get the mean. I also could put these in and go to menu 411, which is one variable statistics. Which measure of center, the median or the mean, better describes a typical percent of error in these bag of chips? So I'm going to tell you the median is better because you can see that it's skewed this way and it looks like I've got an outlier. So because the outlier changes it so very much, it's going to change, it's not going to represent the center of most of the data. Thanks for listening and we'll see you next time.